Hopefully that should be back. I have no idea why that disconnected. I wasn't lose in theory I wasn't losing any frames. It just decided it wasn't going to uh, continue. Twitch probably twitched. Okay, right, so. Spreading that ring about. That is not what I want. Okay. So that one isn't quite big enough. down there so they are how big are they quarter inch so that's four sixteenths so I want five sixteenths five sixteenths I've got five sixteenths. That's that's the blue ones I was using before, but they're um, sixteen gauge. I could do with eighteen gauge, which are a bit thinner, but I don't think I've got any eighteen gauge. In that size, no, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, what are these? A quarter inch and eighteen gauge. Yeah, sixteen and eighteen. No, that's no good because that's the same size as those. Um, I think this is these are too big. Marginally, um, a marginally smaller ring, but it's uh, it's still bigger than what I want to use for this. I might try and see if I can order some. What I want is one that's just slightly larger. So instead of a uh, quarter of inch, which is four sixteenths, I could do with five sixteenths uh, in that um, same gauge, or well, slightly better. I just might, with it being a smaller ring in the centre, it t it'll tend to pivot still around the uh, the silver here. Um, still a bit stiff and kind of comparing it to this one uh, 
I wonder. Can I get five sixteens in in uh, either sixteen or eighteen gauge? So 516 says 10 30 seconds. So 7 30 seconds is actually smaller. Okay, 316s. Eighteen gauge, yeah, eighteen gauge. I just had a restart again, I have, haven't I? Sorry about that, guys. No, all right. So that's the best I'm going to do. Is that? Let's try a few. Let's just see what it's like. Um, otherwise. Can we go even smaller, I wonder? Although this may be too tiny. We got there, we've got uh, 530 seconds in 19 or 20. Let's try the 20 gauge. One. Two. So if I want it to take those and put them around, so if they're the core, then they're definitely, definitely too big for that. So what are we going up to then? Uh, from there is going to be something like that one. But that's that's not going to carry. Four. 
far away I'm now with these. They're 18 gauge. So are those. No, they just won't do it. What I'm wondering is whether I can use these. In place of the silver rings. Let's have a go then. Um, what am I using? Um, those. Okay. I'm not closing up the these thicker blue rings because I uh, effectively don't want to waste them. Don't mind wasting one of these. would I put around those so what will that fit inside basically Three sixteen says is that eighteen gauge, that's a nineteen gauge. Will a nineteen gauge So I need to go a bit smaller in size in order to be able to do that. That's a 5.30 second, so I'd have to go to something like a 1.8. I don't think a 1.8 will be big enough. Okay, let's have a go. If I put this, see if I can get this 1.8 around those four blue rings. I think it's going to be too tight. Maybe, maybe not. Let's have a go. A larger one off. Usually when you're trying to pick up grains, you want to pick up lots in one go. At the moment I'm trying to pick up a single ring. So when you want to pick up lots in one go, you always end up picking up just a single ring. Now that I want to pick up just a single ring, I was ending up picking up lots. Uh, that's the same one as that. Um, what size have I got on this? 
I said you're saying one eighth. Okay, that's that one. So on the assumption that this might just work, I'll put two rings on this. I give up, let's close these properly. And we just took that around two of these just to keep them together. Now then, what was I going to use between them? One of these 19 gauge rings, I think. So they're blue. See what this looks like. These are what? Three sixteenths. Just big enough, I think. Sorry guys if I'm not talking a great deal, I'm kind of really concentrating on trying to do this. And one thing I found with this particular weave, the trying to get the first one through is just a little bit awkward. I think it's a bit easier after that. Need to make sure those rings are there, okay. Now then, will that? No, I do not want that ring to do what it's just done. I want that ring to be. There. Okay. Nah, nineteen gauge is I want twenty gauge possibly. 
20 gauge. Twenty gauge quarter inch. Twenty gauge three sixteenths. Yeah, twenty twenty gauge eight sixteenths, uh, three sixteenths. Okay, that that one is two. Okay, this nineteen gauge is just too thick. It's close, but it's just too th slightly too thick. So 20 gauge 35 30 seconds is probably going to be because that's that's just under 5 sixteenths. So I'm going to try it because this is about internal diameter, um, which of course is what I'm measuring. Hmm. It's going to be too small. Yeah, that's going to be too small. I don't want five thirty seconds. I want seven six seven thirty seconds. Oh, frustrating! Eighteen gauges thicker than nineteen gauge. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's um, take that apart. So I've quite lit. Well, it, it looks like I've maybe got only. I might have two sets of rings that I can make helm out of. Which is um, the weave I'm just uh, experimenting with.
Yeah. Do with a ring that's just slightly, slightly larger than that one, but um, there isn't any. Let me see what happens when I make this one a little bit larger in length. I'm looking for something helm-wise that's quite flexible and uh, I'm not finding it. At least not with the um, the ring set I've got here. Whether physically it um, is available without winding my own rings is another matter. I don't really want to uh, wind my own. In fact, I'm not going to. <laughs> not a case I really want to. I don't want to. I'm not going to. So that. That means that I'm not going to, if this is too stiff, then I'm not going to be, uh, I'm certainly not going to be making my project out of it. This blue, I think, yeah, it's this one, I think, that I put. Between these two. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Just one. Eighty Fall Guy, good evening. Welcome to the studio today. It is getting on to evening, isn't it? I'm just experimenting to see if I can find a flexible helm weave. Because the ones I've tried so far uh, quite stiff. And I don't quite have the right ring sizes to uh, to get around the problem. I'm just trying these out now. This is showing a little bit of promise.
18 gauge quarter, 18 gauge 5 30 seconds, uh, 18 gauge 5 30 seconds. Um, Eighteen a quarter I tried and let me just check. These are eight five six beans. Now I've got um I think this is five sixteens. Yeah, I tried five sixteens with um uh so actually that's sixteen gauge. Eighteen gauge five sixteens. I got any 18, 516. Uh, no, I haven't got any 18, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 30 seconds. 5, 18, 5, 30 seconds. So that's 5, 16. 16, 18. Sixteen and eighteen, eighteen gauge quarter. Okay, I have got uh, I've got those two. I'll try it in a minute. Um, I was I've been trying some fairly uh, some large rings here. Uh, I did did try this. This this, uh, this one's a bit stiff. It's not got a really good bend radius on it. It works, but not quite. And these are um, 16 gauge, uh, 516s. Uh, and then 18 gauge a quarter. So I'll try, uh, I'll try what you suggested in a minute. I'm just making up a test length in this. This is um, three different sizes actually here. Unfortunately, I don't have. Um, I could. I what I could do with is a six sixteenths <laughs> or a three eight. That's not a three eight. So uh, yeah, seven sixteenths in in nineteen gauge or twenty gauge. But uh, yeah, Because it'll get a lot more flexible with that uh, if that centre ring is uh, is a little bit smaller. Unfortunately, I can't. I haven't got an internal diameter. That's a 19 gauge, 3 sixteenths. Um, I haven't got a ring with the internal diameter which is just slightly larger, which would uh, would do the job nicely. I'm going to put another one on that, just to see, and then I'll try those two. Um, you suggested and a couple of pink ones.
Why did I close that blue wing? Because I'm daft, that's why I closed that blue wing. Talk yourself out, that's it. Yes, well. I suspect I'm going to have to take that blue ring out. Come on, there we go. I've just got it. Just uh, something on the end of that, just to get hold of. good okay reject pile so um one eighth one one eighth quarter eighteen gauge a quarter where's my eighteen gauge one quarter inch well there eighteen gauge one quarter and Eighteen gauge five thirty seconds, so five thirty seconds, five thirty seconds, so uh, those. Try a few of those then. Two. So you're back for your Reaper. You've got an idea for your 3D building. Okay. Go on then. What's the cliche? If it's a, if it's a cliche, what is it? Or is it going to be a secret? Rings closed already. I 
I can't particularly think of any uh, building which would be uh, a cliche. So I'm intrigued as to what uh, what that might be. Of course, um, I should be doing a scraper board this evening and uh, it's already been suggested that I should perhaps do some buildings in scraper board. <laughs> so, might nick the idea. Okay. That sounds like uh, material for a game of some kind or... Um, perhaps a painting of some kind. Not uh, night watch, night night witch, night watch. Good evening. Okay, there you go. I was right, wasn't I? For for a horror game. Uh, two, four, six, seven more. Uh, Yeah, the suggestion was kind of um, like an old town type thing. Um, and not, not really. Why have I done? Oh, I need to open some of those. Um, I'm not quite sure what to, what to do though. I mean, I've done. I, I've done in airbrush wise. I've done an old. Uh, well, it was a new old. Uh, Cowboy Town, but uh, it was just sort of old, uh, old village type thing. I don't know, maybe a thatched cottage might be quite interesting. Okay, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six is enough to try. Let's open a couple of these. Oh, it's a gap. Yeah, play with it in the Unreal Engine. Lots of things have been done in the Unreal Engine these days. It seems to be the favourite uh, mechanism for, for lots of things. Um, I mean, I, I know of at least two, two, possibly three games that are being developed. Um, Brand new games developed in the Unreal Engine. Mind you, I guess that just shows you how good the engine is. If everybody's wanting to use it. Now then, let me just throw a ring on the end of this. So I know what the end is.
doesn't feel bad thank you very much AD we'll see how it goes but that doesn't feel bad at all okay I've not really um investigated that but it's the way things are going these days isn't it uh, always more power um, for the new stuff it's kind of kind of like uh, well to some extent no point in going backwards and uh, Because that Unity engine's quite old now, from what I remember. Uh, router bits for a Dremel. I don't think I've seen router bits for a Dremel, to be honest. They're. Um, I suppose it's just it is just an end cut device, isn't it? And it's a while since I've used. Uh, whilst I do have a Dremel, it's a while since I've used it because it's um, so noisy. I've got um, I've got what they call a micro motor, which is a heck of a lot quieter. using dental bits with that so <laughs> they're even harder to get hold of than uh, Dremel stuff That one I can see. Mm. I'm not doing too bad. I've only lost one this afternoon. good out viruses like that um, I um, I have to be careful whenever I get a cold because I have um, have a tendency to get uh, pneumonia and I've ended up in hospital with that uh, either two or three times two times now nearly a third time and the first time first time they thought I got meningitis as well so That was uh, uh, an interesting time. Because I ended up with uh, a lumbar puncture for that. And then um, uh, because of that you end up flat on your back for, uh, for three days. While the puncture heals in your spine. 
and it isn't fun laying completely flat for three days. And when I mean flat, you can't you can't turn over, you can't sit up. Uh, used to eat and drink, laid flat down. And I'm, well, fortunately, it wasn't meningitis; it was pneumonia. But it um, uh, the effect on me was um, like I got a migraine headache, a real bad migraine headache for about two weeks. That one I like. That's flexible enough for what I'm after. Sounds very nice. Thank you very much, Eddie, for that. For the uh, the ring sizes there. It's a bit smaller. Hmm. Oh well, I shall have a think about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, a long long time ago um i'm probably gonna well i'm, I'm not gonna cut you off exactly fear reaper but i am going to uh, stop the stream of course you can uh, feel free to still tell the story um in uh, in the in the chat um yeah sounds like uh, sounds like me um, it's what now coming up to quarter to six in the UK uh, it's the time I went and got some uh, some dinner and got ready for and find something to do on the stream tonight uh, doing some scraper board the stream will start in about two hours two and a quarter hours time 8pm in the UK if there's anybody watching that isn't following me I of course encourage you to do so as some excellent people have done this afternoon and um, if you would like even better notifications than uh, Twitch when I go live, you're welcome to follow me on Twitter. I tweet when I go live. I'm not going to tweet when I have my tea, which will be shortly. So you're uh, reasonably safe from that. Hmm. I need a new uh, overhead lamp. Um but as I say, if you want to just catch the uh, the next stream, it will be in about two and a quarter hours time. I stream from about that time every night of the week. Seven nights a week at the moment, barring anything else going on. But apart from that, thank you all for watching this afternoon. It has been fun, for me anyway. I know I've been a bit silent. I tend to be a bit more talkative when I uh, am doing some of the other crafts. When I'm experimenting, I end up uh, concentrating on what I'm doing. And forget to speak. But uh, thank you all. See you later. Bye.